Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Zahwan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to convert travel app UI design to Flutter. So let's get started. First of all, I want to say sorry for my English is not good. So if the word I use are incorrect, please help me to point out. Alright, so in this video, we are going to convert travel app UI design to Flutter. And this is design that we want to convert to Flutter. And this beautiful design, designed by Icha. So if you want to endorse the designer or you want to see this design, link in the description below. First thing first, we have to download the project starter code, link in the description below. And if you have downloaded the project starter code, let's open with your favorite IDE. In this section, I use Android Studio. Alright, and let's open it. Alright, so this is the project starter code. And as usual, in this project starter code, I have provide like assets. And inside this assets folder, I have provide like images and SVG. And then I have provide like models and widget orx and for the very first we need to open our main file which is this and as usual this main file it's kind of like starter point of our flutter project and right now we have to delete and we want to start from scratch just delete it and we see warning because we haven't yet created this my app so we have to create new stateless widget with sdl and we name it as my app and as we can see our error has gone so inside our my app we have to return such as material app and inside this material app we can call properties such as uh, debug so jacket mode because we want to remove like debug banner so we set it to be false and again the important thing that we have to call like home and for the home we set it to be home screens we see warning again because this home screen haven't yet exist so we have to create new file inside our screen package we name it as home screen and we create new stateful widget we name it as home screen so we see warning because we haven't yet import our material class and we back to our main file and we have to import our home screen all right and we back to our home screen and inside our home screen state we have to return like scaffold widget all right and inside our scaffold widget we can call the first properties is body and for our body we can use like save area and in this save area we can call one properties which is child and for the child we use container why we use container because we want to cover or we want to place all content inside our app to be entire screen and to make our container to be full screen or entire screen or the whole screen we don't need to set like height and width so we need to call child and for the child we use list view and inside this list view we can call basic which is we want to give like bouncing scroll effect and again for the children which is this kind of like place for our content so let's see in the design and let's break down so we can see for the very first we place our content inside our save area and inside save area we have child which is container because we want to place or we want to make it to be in the whole screen or entire screen and inside our container we set child which is we use list view because we want to place many widgets inside that like this custom navigation drawer and then this kind of like search button and below that we have one text widget and we have custom tab bar and this kind of like uh, let's say it's kind of like 
carousel or horizontal list view and then we have a custom indicator and we have text widget again which is this kind of like text widget and we want to wrap this to be like gesture detector and this kind of like a custom list view and much more so for the very first let's say we have to create a custom row widget content to widget for the first widget is kind of like a navigation drawer and the second widget is like a search button okay so inside these children we can call like container and inside this container we can set like height and for the height we set it to be 57.6 and then for the margin we set it to be only only top and for the top uh 28.8 and for the left uh 28.8 and for the right it's like the before and again for the child we set it to be a row widget and inside this row widget we can call children and inside this children we can call container again and for that we set height same with the before and for the width because we want to make it to be square so we make it same with the height and for the padding we set it to be all and for that we say 18 and for the decoration we use block decoration because uh, we want to customize like border radius so for that we say uh, border radius we use circular and for that we say uh, 9.6 i think it's enough and for the color we use uh, color which is we want to use like light gray all right and below of our decoration we call child so let's see we want to use like svg picture so we have to import dependencies so we have to go to pubspec.eml and we have to go to dependencies right here and we call right here for the very first we call a uh, flutter svg and for the second dependencies is google fonts and for the last is for custom indicator and we have to scroll and we have to declare our assets like this so we say right here assets and then assets folder and then images and the second one is svg folder and we have to press pub get so we see process finish with exit code zero and we back to home screen and for the child right now we can call svg picture.assets and we call our assets which is assets folder and then svg folder and then our file name all right so i think this and this it looks similar so we can duplicate that so we can duplicate this one and paste here and we just need to change the icon to be such all right and right now we can run our app all right so we see our navigation drawer and our search button all right so we back to our row widget and from here we can call like main axis alignment and we set it to be space between all right and it will be on the left and on the right all right so we can give comment right here to make this code to be more readable so let's give comment like custom navigation drawer all right so we have success create this one so let's move to the next section which is this one so below of our widget which is uh, this below of our container we give comma right here and we give comment right here title or uh, text widget so we use padding and for the padding we set it to be only top 48 for, and for the left uh, 28.8 and okay that's enough and for the child we use text widget and for the text let's say explore the nature all right explore the nature and we give style right here and for the style we use google font as usual and we use play 
fair display and inside that we can set like font size which is 45.6 and for the font weight we set it to be bold so we say 700 okay let's see explore the nature okay it's similar with the design so we jump to the next section which is custom tab bar so we give command right here custom tab bar with custom indicator all right and to create a custom tab bar we use container and for that we set height to be 30 and for the margin we set it only left 14.4 and for the top 28.8 and for the child we use default tab controller and for the length we set it to be 4 because this kind of like demi and for the child what we use right here is we use tab bar and inside this tab bar we have one important properties which is tabs and inside these tabs so we say tab and inside this tab we can say like child and for the child we use container and inside this container we use child again which is text widget and for the text let's say recommended so we can simply duplicate that three times and for the second we set it to be popular and this one to be new destination and for the last is hidden games so we see recommended popular and new destination and hidden games all right and we back to our tab controller and inside our tab bar we can call like label padding and for the padding we set it to be left 14.4 and for the right 14.4 and the other properties is indicator padding for that we say i think it's similar with the label padding so we just need to copy that and again the next properties is is scrollable we set it to be true and for the label color we set it to be it's kind of like black color and for the unselected label color we set it to be something like gray color so we use this color and for the label style we use google font and we use i think lato and for the size we set it to be 14 i think and for the font weight we set it to be 700 so we need to copy that and for the unselected label style just duplicate it all right and for the indicator we can call our custom widget which is rounded rectangle border uh not that i think a rounded rectangle tab indicator and it will automatically provide for us three properties like color weight and width and for the color we set it to be black color and for the weight we set it to be 2.4 and for the width we set it to be 14.4 so we see so let's click this and it will automatically go to our custom tab indicator and inside this custom tab indicator class we create like custom indicator which is we use painter and inside that we throw custom box which is using box painter and the important thing is we can customize this and if you want to customize this position you can change with custom offset which is to make it to be center we can simply like divide our width with uh, 2 or times 2 0.5 and to make it to be really center we can minus with our half of our width of the indicator all right so if you want to see in this code link in the description below all right so we have create a custom tab indicator or we have create a custom tab bar so we see it's similar with the design and we jump to the next section which is 
the important thing or it's kind of like new things that we learn in this section so below of our container i think right here and we give comment again so for that we use container and inside this container we set like height we set it to be 218.4 and for the margin we set it to be only top 16 and for the tile we use page view and inside this page view we can call basic which is bouncing scroll basic and again for the controller we use page controller so we have to create this one so we go to right here and we create a new controller for our page view and we assign with page controller and inside our page controller we can set like viewport fraction and for that we set it to be 0.877 all right and again for the scroll direction we make it to be horizontal and for the children we use list dot generate and what we want to generate for the very first we have to provide length which is we use recommendation dot length this recommendation it's kind of like our models so when we click that it will go to this model which is i have provide like dummy data we have name and image and we have like five data and it will return for us five data and right here we can call like index and what we want to return is container and inside this container we can set like margin and for the margin we set it to be on the right 28.8 and again for the width we set it to be 333.6 and for the height 218.4 and for the decoration we use spoke decoration and for the border radius we use circular 9.6 and for the image we call decoration image and inside that we can call like network image and we have to assign or we have to provide parameter right here which is we use our model which is recommendation index dot image so this will return for us like url why we use network image and inside our decoration image we can call like fit and we say cover and below of our decoration we can call like child and for the child we use stack widget and inside this stack widget we can call children and inside this children we can call like position widget and inside this position widget for the child so we can call clip around the rectangle and inside that we can call border radius and we say circular and for that we can say 4.8 and inside this clip around the rectangle we can use like backdrop filter which is this used for blur blur effect this one so for the filter we say image filter dot blur and inside this we can provide like sigma x and sigma y and for the sigma y we set it to be 19.2 and for the sigma x it's same all right and again inside our box filter we can say like child and for the child we use container again and inside this container widget we can call like height and for the height we set it to be 36 and for the padding we say only only left and for the right it's same i think for the right 14.4 and again for the alignment we set it to be center left and for the child we use row widget why we use row widget because we want to place two widget inside that horizontally for the first widget it's kind of like svg and the second widget is text widget so here we say children and for that we use svg picture 
dot assets and inside that we say assets svg and then icon location and the next widget is text widget and for that we say recommendation index dot name all right and to give like little margin we can use like size block right here so for that we set it around 9.5452 all right and for the style we use google fonts and for the font weight we set it to be 700 and for the color we set it to be white and for the size 16.8 so let's restart our app all right so we see so i think we have to move our blur effect right here so we back to our position widget i think right here and for that we say bottom 19.2 and then for the left 19.2 all right so we see so let's see the design so i think it's similar with the design all right so we jump to the next section which is indicator so below of our container so we give comment right here so for that we use smooth page indicator library so we say padding and for the padding only for the left 28.8 and for the top we set it to be 28.8 and for the child we say smooth page indicator and it will automatically generate for us three properties such as controller and count i think two properties i mean and for the controller we use page controller and for the count we say recommendation dot length all right and the other properties is effect and for the effect we use expanded dot effect and inside that we can provide like active dot color and for the active dot color we say like dark gray and for the dot color we use like like gray which is this one and for the dot height we say what we say 4.8 and for the dot width we say 6 and for the spacing we say 4.8 so we see our indicator and when we scroll it will automatically change to the next indicator all right i summarize so we jump to the next section which is this kind of like row widget with two widget so below of our padding we select here and for that we use container and inside this container we say margin only top 33.6 and for the height we set it to be 45.6 and for the child we use row widget so i think for the thing we use padding and we have to remove this and for the padding only top 48 and for the left 28.8 and for the right 28.8 and for the row widget we use children and for the first children is text widget and for that we say popular categories all right and for the style we use google fonts and we use play fair display and inside that we say font size 28 and for the font weight we say 700 and for the color we say like black color i think uh, okay i think it's kind of like black color so we see and we need to copy that and change this to show all so we see show all and for that we use leto and for the size change to 16.8 and for the weight 500 and for the color gray color so we see all right so we back to raw widget and right here we say 
main axis alignment, space between. Alright, and we make it center with cross axis alignment, center. Alright, so below of our text widget, we say horizontalist view for our categories. So below of our padding, we give command right here and we use container and for that we say margin only top 33.6 and for the height we set it to be 45.6 and for the child we use list view dot builder and for the first we say item count we set it to be populars dot length all right and the next is uh, scroll direction we say horizontal and the other is basic we say bouncing scroll basic and the next is padding we say only left 28.8 and for the right 9.6 and for the item builder we say context and index and we have to return something right here what we want to return is container again and don't forget to provide semicolon and for our container we say margin only right 19.2 and for the height 45.6 and for the decoration we use box decoration and we use uh, border radius which is circular 6.9.6 and for the color we say right here what we have to say populars index dot color and for the child we say row widget because it's kind of like two widget or i think this just one widget but we use row widget and inside this row widget we say children and inside that we say image dot assets what we want to say right here populars index dot image all right so we see our image has loud and inside our image we can set like height i think right here for the height set it to be 16.8 all right and i think we have to give like margin using size block and for that we say 19.2 and we just need to duplicate that all right so we see and to make it to be center we can say right here center and for the main axis alignment center again all right so we have created uh, this custom list view for our popular categories so the next is for our list view so i think below of our container i think right here give comment again so we use container again and for the height 124.8 and for the child we use a uh, list view builder and for that we say item count and for the count we say pitch dot length and for the padding we say only left 28.8 and i think for the bottom i think not bottom but right so we set it to be 12. for the scroll direction we set it to be horizontal and for the basic punching scroll basic and again for item builder we say context and index and we have to return something what we have to return is container don't forget to provide semicolon and inside this container we have to say like height and for the height 124.8 and for the width we set it to be 188.4 and for the margin only right 16.8 again for the decoration we use box decoration and inside that we say border radius circular uh, 9.6 and for the image we use decoration image and inside that we say box fit cover and for the image we say network image and we have to provide url using our model all right so we see our image has loud so i think we have to give margin 
right here only uh for the top 28.8 and for the bottom 16.8 all right it's perfect let's see how similar did this one with the design all right so the last but not least for this section we have to create bottom navigation bar so we have to go to our scaffold widget thing where are you right here bottom navigation bar and it means that we have create new widget and we name it as bottom navigation bar all right and inside our bottom navigation we have to create new stateful widget and we name it as bottom navigation bar and we have to import our material class and we have to return something right here so we return container and for the height we set it to be 86.4 and i think we have to create a new variable which is a selected index we set it to be zero and again for our style which is we use google fonts and lato and inside that we say like font size 12 and font weight 500 and we back to our container and for that we say book decoration and we use uh, book decoration and for the color we say white color and for the box shadow we say like box shadow again and inside that we say color for the opacity we say 0.3 and for the spread radius 2 and for the blur radius 15 and for the offset we say 0.5 all right and below of our decoration we say child and for the child we say bottom navigation bar and for that can provide like items and for the items we have to say bottom navigation bar item and for that we say like icon and for the icon we say selected index uh, equal with zero we say svg picture assets and our assets and we say icon home color and again svg picture assets we say our home icon so this kind of like let's say it's kind of like a condition when our position is on the index zero we say we change our icon to be colored and when not in the selected index we say we use another icon and again the next is title and for the title we use text widget and we say home so we can i think duplicate that one again all right so for the very first home and the second is heart and the next is plus not plus i think notification and the next is i think this is plus and this is notification and the last is user all right and the other one we have to change the index all right and the next properties is current index and for the current index we say selected index and again for on tab we say on item tab and for the background color we use transparent and for the type we say fix and for the selected item size 12 and for the show unselected so selected label false and so unselected label false again and for the elevation zero so we see warning because we haven't yet created this one so i think selected font size 12 and we see warning for the on tab so we have to create new method for that so we say right here on item tab which is index and we use set state and inside that we say selected index assign with index 
and we back to our home screen and for that we can say bottom navigation bar travel and restart our app and now we see our bottom navigation bar so it's similar with the design let's see all right so i think yeah we have convert one screen from ui design to flutter so i think the next section we want to try to convert this one to flutter okay that's enough my video today if you want to download like the final project link in the description below and if you have any questions or comment write it down on the comment field thank you so much and see you again on the next video